Good morning, YouTube. How's everybody out there doing? One o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning, one o'clock, um, November the seventh, two thousand twenty-one. <clears throat> Cold day outside, out here in Lago Vista, Texas. It's been pretty cold. We recently had a cold front that brought down freezing weather, but uh, the weather looks nice during the daytime, sunny, slight warm temperatures, but during the night it gets real cold. Um, we are coming up to the month of November, and although we, we as the world, have been suffering from that dreaded coronavirus, the COVID-19, as they want to call it. I've had it twice already. I've had my vaccines done already. And there's still no word about the Philippines opening up for tourists. They say they might be able to consider, but that hasn't happened yet. If this year is over, I lose my vacation in my workplace here, I lose my vacation, and I got to start all over again and start earning my vacation days again. Um, for some reason or another, it's a company policy. If I don't take my vacation now, I lose it. And I really didn't want to take it. I'm risking, I'm hoping that the Philippines will open so that I can go visit my loved ones. Edeline Barrows, she lives in Cebu. I don't have a picture of her. Um, beautiful young lady. Um, we've been chatting. We already met once. And we've been chatting for the past, well, since COVID-19 started. Um, I, was, I was hoping that I was going to go out there on, on the year 2020. But that didn't happen. And now we're coming up to the year 21, and we're coming up to the end of the year already. Um, but it's pretty obvious. I'm hoping and I'm praying that maybe I could probably have the Philippines open by this month. We're birdies at seven, so I'm hoping there'll be some good news and open up the Philippines where we wouldn't have to do the quarantine. And I, I, don't, I don't mind the quarantine. Except that my vacation time here at work is only 15 days, actually 13 days to be exact. So what if they used to go to the Philippines and they're going to quarantine me for, I'm, I'm, I'm not sick anymore. I have my, my vaccines and I got recorded documents. And so they can just put me in a hotel that's triple expensive uh, for five days or 10 days where, where, or as soon as I get out, I say, well, okay, I guess you don't have COVID. Of course, you know, I, I had to, I had the evidence and I had the proof. Now I only got four days to either head over to Cebu, Philippines, and contact my fiance and say, well, let's, let's spend some time. He said, no, I only got three days more. Why? Because I was quarantined in a hotel after I told them that I didn't have any COVID or evidence of COVID-19. Uh, that pisses me off. But anyways, that's, that's, that's the scenario that I would bump into if I were to take off to the Philippines. We need to open up the, the frontier. We need to open up the Philippines. No more quarantines. So the people, and I have documentation that will prove that I have my vaccine. I already had corona twice. Um, and that was a long time ago. So, allow me to have, allow me to enjoy my 12 days in the Philippines at least, in the company of my, my girlfriend and, and, and her family. But that's my message to everybody in the Philippines if, if they ever get to see this.